What's going on everyone? My name's Tenebris and Road to Vostok is looking absolutely incredible. Road to Vostok is a hardcore single-player survival game set in a post-apocalyptic border zone between Russia and Finland. With roots in zone-related survival games and immersive FPS genes, this stark and dystopic first-person shooter has quickly won me over in the past few dev blogs. In the latest, with the announcement of taking on development full-time, I figured this was the sign I needed to jump on board and start supporting this game. So today, we'll cover what's been gone over so far in the dev blogs and have some hopeful speculation on Road to Vostok's more than promising future. Carrying awesome games on its shoulders of inspiration, the developer of this game is inspired heavily by games like DayZ, both its high points and its shortcomings, as well as other hardcore FPS experiences like the Stalker series, Insurgency, and Escape from Tarkov. Having started as an indie developer, then having joined the military, then afterwards to go freelance in the video game industry, and finally landing the role of a visual game design teacher, starting out self-taught in a wide array of developmental tools, then to go on to the role of educating in game design, backed up with five years of military service, and this very unique and open-minded approach to video game development, and you start to piece together how much talent is actually behind this project. Beyond the introduction to the developer, his skill set and ambitions, we also got something incredibly valuable in just the first dev blog. A roadmap with an outlined plan for the next roughly four to five years, with the initial phases starting just the end of this upcoming summer. Starting out with two planned free demos of the game, one being a small highlight reel, the next in the year following being more of a vertical slice, then sometime after that moving on to Steam and Early Access, then after its EA phase wraps up, going full launch. Ambitious, dude! And it actually really does seem like a stable alpha to launch game plan. Taking a year from the first beta to realize its feedback, then however long it takes from the vertical slice to the early access, making these all public so the most maximized amount of feedback can come in during those initial phases, it just seems like a really smart approach. So what is Road to Vostok going to be like in terms of its gameplay? And this was answered much more thoroughly through the next two following dev blogs. First of all, explaining the map design motif. The game will comprise multiple zones to explore that are based on real world locations. You'll have two main areas, Area 5, then the titular Vostok. Separated by a border, you'll have to manually cross, offering higher risk but higher reward. Gameplay-wise, it's meeting points between FPS action, sim, and survival, having things like carry weight and player stats to upkeep, safe houses to build supplies at, armed stamina while aiming, realistic bullet penetration, all blended over this beautiful post-apocalyptic backdrop. There's going to be a heavy looter-shooter mechanic, and with weapon condition and durability, plus weapon attachments, plus the wide range of stats and vitals to upkeep, I think this will be a pretty meaty survival experience. Heck, I don't even know what hypovolemia means, dude! It's going to be a ton of fun figuring out how to optimally survive in this realistic take on post-apocalyptic survival looter-shooters. 
There's a lot of good going into Road to Vostok, from its design motif and open-minded approach to game development, to a focus on variety and systems that are familiar, from looting mechanics and making them feel unique, to environmental design, the thing this dude friggin' teached. So I have a lot of hope going into this project, and am totally going to be picking it up. And I think if everything comes together, this is going to be an awesome game for me to take on as a content creator like myself. I really dig getting into weapon systems and movement systems and the loot side will give a cathartic focus. So overall, I'm just very excited for Road to Vostok. And the developer's shift into full-time development on this project has totally sold me here. So let me know, have you heard of Road to Vostok? Is it a game that's on your radar as well? I'm going to cover this game more as time goes on and really knuckle down on it around the betas and then more down on the early access and full launch. I'm gonna be in it for the long haul, I think. So if you've been watching my channel for a while, shoutouts to the new game, and if you're new, maybe consider subscribing to stick around. But for now, thank you for watching, and I will catch you all in the next one. Until then, peace.